To add a lead in the SI Lead Manager app pack, we'll navigate to the Properties, the Properties app. Click Add Property, and we can enter in the address. And then select it from the autofill. And now save. And now the next thing we'll do is add a contact. So we'll click into the contacts field, click create new item, add in the first name. Email. And a phone number. Any mailing address, which would be the stand the mailing address of the property, or if it's different, we can enter that in here. be the property owner so we'll click the type and who is this and any notes so we can save and return now we'll get this sometimes the calculation fields do not calculate automatically to bring in the navigation and whatnot so if we refresh hopefully it pops up and now you can see the full lead and what it looks like so we have the contacts section here Details section. So the details section is when you want to enter in the number of bedrooms, the condition of the house, the type of property, and basically anything you have on your lead sheet that you're going to be asking your seller when you talk to them on the phone. Now, this next section is the workup section where you'll enter in the details about the property that help you come up with the asking price, like the estimate on repairs, your wholesale fee, the ARV, and what have you. And that sheet will help you come up with your MAO, the max allowable offer, and then you can see it here. Then you have the offers, but then when you're making an offer, you can see each offer and then the status of the offer, whether it's been accepted, rejected, countered. Then you have the contracts. So if you get the property under contract, you can create all the inf start adding the information here that helps you get it to closing. You can see what offer was accepted. You can list your potential buyers, the real buyer, closing date, and anything similar to or anything that is required during the under contract period. Now finally we have a deals area where you'll keep track of information about the final deal. The amount you got, your wholesale fee, the buyer, when it closed, and any other notes that you might want. And then down at the bottom right here we'll have the date of the lead, which you'll keep track of whether it's active or dead, the motivation level of the lead or the seller, when you want to follow up, one week, two weeks, this is the initial follow up from when the lead came in, the stage of the lead, so if you've created a detail record, you're on a detail stage, if you create a workup record, you're on the workup stage, and so on down the line until it's closed. And this is lead data, so where the lead came from, the marketing source, whether it's a direct mail, website lead, bandit sign, referral, or others. You can go into the modify template and add more options here if you like. The lead type is a probate, absentee, foreclosure, REO. Again, you can go here, modify template, and uh, scroll down and add more types if you need to the date that this lead was entered in, so the date originated, the entry type, 
whether it was a manual input, whether it was imported, or straight from a website if you have that set up. And any additional lead notes that you want here. Down here are some system fields. If you have a Zillow ID, you can enter in here, which will help you get more information from Zillow. And, uh, and the item URL, which I find useful because even though it's up here, you can use this in another form and link it back. Or you can just highlight this and send it someplace. And then you can add any files here that you like, any tags, and then any tasks. So in other videos, I'll get into each of these different sections in more detail. And uh, oh, one other thing, this navigation allow you, allows you to jump down to the different areas real quick. So you say, I want to go down to the offer area, click offer, and it'll jump down to the offer section. If you want to go back to the top, you click back to the top, and we'll come back up here so you can quickly jump to where you want to go. Again, if you have any questions, email me, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy the app pack. Thank you.